Uh, wow. I think uh, the things I'm about to say highlight almost all those. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, so this year for my biggest focus is right now is um, I'm I'm trying to systematize. I've systematized my pest control business. So now I'm trying to systematize my life um, to where we have more routines in place to where I'm spending more intentional time on either spending time with family or when I'm working, I'm intentional with it. Or when I'm having fun, like I'm intentional with it um, and just being more um, structured, I guess, in a way, yeah. but giving myself grace that if, Hey, if this day, cause life happens or this day, if I didn't exercise today, don't beat yourself up. Just don't miss tomorrow, you know, kind of, kind of thing. So I've been focusing on that. And then um, I'm really right now, I'm trying to push to launch um, a new podcast called the pest control entrepreneurship podcast. And um, basically the, the purpose of it is to uh, guide people so that they can achieve financial freedom and fulfillment through pest control entrepreneurship, because I've already done that and I know how to do it. And I, and because of all the mistakes and and lessons I've learned, I think I can help somebody get there quicker. And so like, that's going to be my new focus is helping young entrepreneurs start and grow a pest control company. Um, and then we might segue into maybe service-based businesses because I also have a lawn mowing company, but that's kind of like uh, my big goal right now is to get that launched, get that going. Um, I'm really this year, I'm focusing more on creative stuff instead of yeah. like monetary goals. Um, I'm more like focusing on routines and yeah. um, I have a whole system of like making sure that I'm doing those routines at least 70% of the time, like 80, 20 principle, right? Yeah. 70 to 80% of the time and giving myself grace. So if like there's days I don't you know, hit those things. It's okay. As yeah. long as I'm on 70 to 80% of the time, because consistency is going to compound itself over time. Yeah. Yeah. And I know this is kind of generic, but have you heard of the two day rule? No. So oh, I, you know what? I think I maybe have, is it like, uh, what atomic habits talks about where it's like, you can miss one day, but don't miss two. Yeah. I think it is in atomic ha- habits, but yeah, that's why if you're learning something new or trying to get a new habit, it's like, give yourself grace in that one day mm-hmm. you miss and then just get back on the horse, which is exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which definitely helps me too. Cause there are times where I'm like, Oh, I'm going to get this. I have a day off. And then I'm like, well, I guess I got to do it today or just yeah. stop doing it. <laughs> I I, th- I think the, the, something that I've also learned is like, you can also too, is like, as long, even if you like I call them one minute or five minute miracles. Yeah. Even if like, say you're supposed to exercise today and you're like, dude, I don't have time. I don't feel like it, blah, 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 blah. At least do one minute or five minutes of exercise. Even if it's just like air squats, push ups, yep. or whatever, because you're still casting votes, just like in Tom McHouse talking about, you're still casting votes for the type of person you want to become. And so you're basically saying I'm the type of person that shows up and works out. So just even the small little micro miracles or whatever you want to call them matter. I love it. Yeah. And I don't know if I should share the secret, but I will. I still have not read Atomic Habits. Oh, dude, you've got I know. I've so talked good. to so many people like it's so good. <laughs> 